So it's come down to me to annihilate you. <laughs> How exciting. Hey everyone, it's Carol Hero, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Seven Trials to Glory. We're in the survival tournament here. Survival match, whatever the fuck. Uh, trying to take on all of these rare hunters and beat their ass. And we're actually against the leader of the rare hunters, Merrick Ishtar, here. Um, I don't know if Yami Merrick makes an appearance in this game. Nonetheless, we're going to take on Merrick Ishtar. I've switched up the deck just because the Yada Lock is uh, kind of one note. <laughs> can be a little boring to watch. Uh, and I've got... And this isn't really like the best version of it, but I basically got what I played as a Chaos deck when I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot growing up. Um, but it's basically... Ironically, in this version of the deck, it's just a bunch of one-offs of a bunch of good cards. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and try and activate that here. Or not, sorry. <laughs> try and go ahead and play that this time around. See if we can beat Merrick here. Gonna run into a Mirror Force. Figured as much. Uh, unfortunately, the card that's asking me to activate is not... Um, my... Shadow Spell, but it is actually my... Offerings of a Doomed, Shadow Skull actually will not activate <laughs> unless I change the timing of it. So we've got Wall of Illusion. Um, but yeah, I just kind of played sort of like a Chaos deck uh, without even knowing that Chaos was kind of a thing. I just kind of threw cards together and then uh, somewhere down the line I was like, oh, this is actually <laughs> this is actually a valid playstyle that other people actually play and it's actually like the most known thing. Holy shit. All right. Um, but I can't really use exactly what it was like right now because I'm missing a couple of random cards that I used to use, like Science Swordsman Level 5. Uh, I had three copies of Disciple of the Forbidden Spells. You know, corny cards like that. Uh, Merrick's deck is pretty interesting because I guess he just has a bunch of broken cards and he fucking. Just uses a bunch of broken shit. He does real no as a Hannibal strategy here. He's just gonna play like three graceful charities, throw down a summon skull, and then equip him with some powerful uh, cards. Um, let me think about this. I could use Shadow Spell here. Um, but it's fine. We'll let it go through. Um, because there's a chance I can draw into a change of heart. Oof, that's gonna be a lot. But it does let us get Witch's Effect. No, I don't want to activate anything. Um, to get a card from our hand. So we can get quite a lot. Um, Warfum Jar is looking kind of good right now. Hmm. Could even just go <laughs> straight into Sikiyumi. I think that's enough to... Or does he have a little bit more defense than Sikiyumi? Ooh, I don't remember. Uh, and then there's always the Ever Faithful Cyber Jar. So let's go ahead and add Cyber Jar. And uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to do anything, so I can just go ahead and actually use this. But, um, let's go ahead and draw a card first. Mm, hoping that would have been a change of heart or something. But let's go ahead and um, actually set Cyber Draw here. And uh, go ahead and end my turn. I need to, like, build a slightly better version of this deck. But nonetheless, I think I'm going to be able to use this. Um, it's just that the next duel is going to be kind of hard. Probably gonna have to do what I've been doing is just start all over again just to try and take um, on the next opponent with, you know, as much life points as possible. But I'm gonna go ahead and activate Cyber Jar here, which is gonna destroy all the cards or all the monsters on the field. Allow us each to draw five cards, and wow, look at all these broken cards. Wow, he has <laughs> Envoy of the Beginning. Okay. And it's gonna let us draw all of these cards, but then summon all the monsters that we drew and then you can just keep everything else he's already played monsters so he's gonna just discard all his fucking cards instead of setting anything what a digital dummy um all right so we're just gonna end here um we're going to set off into doom so you can shut the fuck up already um then I'll set Magician of Fate here. Nope, it's still gonna ask me. Oh, because I got Book of Moon. Let's set that also. Please stop asking me. Throw down Ceasefire. 
And you know what? Throw down Sakurazu armor. Why the hell not? Now let's go to battle here. And uh, let's try and remove some lights and darks from his graveyard. We do Kyoko the Ghost Destroyer here. Gonna let us remove two monsters from my opponent's graveyard. Uh, so he's got light, light, and dark. So oof, we're just gonna have to remove this dark one. And now he's definitely not gonna be able to summon Black Luster Soldier. Um, but let's also get rid of this other Black Luster Soldier. He has just uh, yeah, has less monsters. In case he tries to do any sort of shenanigans. But I mean, we've got like a whole fucking wall of back row set here. Let's see if the, this guy is going to use Pot of Greed. My man is going to run himself out of cards with all the Pots of Greeds and upset guard blends that he wants to play. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. Ooh, card destruction. That's actually pretty okay as well. He's like literally going to deck himself out. Ooh, we're going to get Magician of Dark, or Dark Magician of Chaos, I should say. He's going to activate another upset Goblin. He's going to activate another Graceful Charity. All right, Merrick. You're just flexing on me now. Alright, and he's just gonna set a card. Uh, I'm gonna get the Fiend Mega Cyber here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and activate Mr. Fate's effect here. And add. Oh, all we have is swords. Man, that's kinda lame. He's gonna actually activate. Ooh, that kinda sucks. Turn to a tribute to destroy everything. But it is going to activate my Sangin's effect here, which is gonna let me add a card. From my deck to my hand. So we're gonna just need Morphine Jars since it seems like we're just gonna end up decking this guy out. Um, I was hoping he used this Book of Moon. But he's uh, kinda done fucked me here. Uh, so I don't wanna use Morphine Jar just yet. Um, but I don't think. Okay, I can summon this. And um, let's see, we got swords. Let's activate Book of Moon here. I know this is kind of a weird play. Let's activate Book of Moon, flip my own monster face down, and then I'm actually going to set or activate Swords of Revealing Light here, just so I don't have to discard anything, and then end my turn here. And let's see what he's got. He's actually going to activate Card Destruction, stupid asshole. Um, I think I play Magic Jammer, but I'm not going to be able to do anything with it, so we're just going to lose our Dark Magician of Chaos here, regretfully. But just end up winning the duel because Merrick is a complete fucking jackass. I don't understand what his game plan was whatsoever. I heard rumors that you were no ordinary duelist. I will not lose again. You fucking destroyed yourself, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't understand. You just literally drew your entire deck. <laughs> With no rhyme or reason, you're not playing Exodia, you didn't fucking use Black Luster Soldier when you could've, like... Take care of yourself.